Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing of Wanas's Comeback Pygmalion. So I've got two copies of the main version, two copies of the Poker version, and then a OT5 set of the Jewel version. So without further ado, let's get on into the main version first. Alrighty, so this is my first copy of the main version. I bought this from K-Town for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the shrink wrap. Alrighty, so this is the front. It's got this really interesting frame thing at the front. Then the side and the back. And I do believe that compared to their previous albums, this album is quite uh, big and it's quite, um, it's quite tall compared to their previous albums. So I don't know if it's gonna look as nice on the shelf, but yeah, this is their ninth mini album, Pygmalion. So I am going to take out all the inclusions first. Okay, so I've just taken out all the inclusions. I'm not sure exactly how many photo cards and things you get in here. I haven't watched any other unboxings either. But yeah, I think you can also take out this card from the front. Okay, so you can take out this postcard from the front. It's a group postcard. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. We got a Soho. I think this might be random then. Okay, we got Soho for this. Interesting. Oh, so you can like put it back in here, but as the member. I guess it's kind of like a mirror. Um, I guess I'll just keep it as Soho then. So I got a Soho for that postcard. All right, and then here we have the CD plate. So far, I like how this is just a classic looking album, not too much uh, fancy stuff going on here. So I have been listening to this album a lot, uh, especially during work. I like to listen to the album on repeat. Oh my God, this is so scary. These things, I'm so scared of masks. Let's continue. Oh, scary. Oh, that's really scary. All right. So this is their first comeback as five people. And also, I gotta apologize if my voice is a bit hoarse today. Um, it's the end of a pretty long day for me, but I really wanted to unbox this and get a video out as soon as possible. So we have Soho. Um, so yeah, this is their first comeback as five, and I really, really enjoyed it actually. I think my bias Lido looks great. Um, yeah, I was like really scared that their popularity was going to drop after uh, one member, um, after they lost one member. But I'm really glad, like, it seems like they're still going strong. They got a music show win and everything seems to be going okay. And I still really like their sound. Oh my gosh, he looks so good. I love this outfit. <laughs> Like, I didn't really buy any POBs and things for this comeback. Basically just bought, like, a couple of sets of the album to do a video. And I split the OT5 jewel case set with a couple of friends. But yeah, it's just a really chill comeback for me, I guess. I'm, I think I went overboard a lot with Malice. And I learned from then not to go too overboard with POBs. So yeah, this time I'm just really, really enjoying their music. I think for One Us, like, their music is my absolute favourite. Their music is so musical, I guess. Like, you can tell that there's a clear harmony, melody, everything. It's not, like, mixed. There's just, you know, good classic music um, with, like, the classic structure of a song. And I really, really like that. So yeah, even though I'm not spending too much money on Wanus, I am really, really, really genuinely enjoying their music, which I think is really good. So far, I really like this album, as in this photo book. So out of these two main versions and two pocket versions, 
me and my friend are going to take one each and then hopefully I pull some of our biases and then we can take our biases photo cards. Whoa, he looks so good. So good, so good, so good. Wow. So yeah, um, probably no more Lido fan signs for me for now because I did just recently do a June fan sign. And I'm still hoping to maybe do some June fan signs in the future. And yeah, I just, wow, I love looking at photos of them and I love watching their stages. I'm so happy that they won first place on the show. Because I was like, as I said before, I was super scared that their popularity was going to drop. But I'm really glad he's still going strong. His long hair, like, when he first started growing out his long hair, I didn't like it that much. But now, you know, depends how you style it. I kind of am getting used to it. I'm kind of liking it. Whoa. So my favourite song out of this album will probably be Unforgettable. And followed by Halley's Comet. I really like ballads. And I really like the way that One Us does ballads like it's very melodic still a little bit upbeat so it's not too um slow and kind of comforting i would still say they're like upbeat ballads and i really really like them so yeah that is the end of the photo book nice classic photo book so i got so for this one um let's have a look at the inclusions we got so we've got a couple of things and I just took them out of the album. So I think this might be the lyric book. Or lyric poster. Lyric poster. Alright, it looks like a lyric poster. Ah, okay. So basically just like this. This is the lyrics. And what it looks like. I really don't like the masks. So I'm just gonna um, fold this up again. All right, then we got this big thing. I'm not too sure what it is. It looks a bit like tarot cards, like the ones that they did for Trickster. Yeah, so I think what you can do is you can like pop these out. You can kind of see you can pop them out. I'm going to keep them in because I'm not sure which album I'm going to give to my friend yet. She can have the pleasure of popping these cards out. So that was like Macne line. And then here we have the five of them and then Hyung line got Soto here yes Soto here Is that then I think we only get one photo card this is like I'm not too sure what this is might be a scent card oh Connie Connie okay so it says Connie artist and then his birthday I assume um but this looks kind of like a business card, I guess. Cool. My friend likes Connie, so she will get this. Then I saw this as I was taking it out. This is like a scratch card. I think I might actually scratch it. Um, give me a second. I'm going to get a key. All right, so I've got a coin and I'm going to scratch this because I'm really curious about what it is. Looks like a message card. Okay. So we got Soho for this message card, and now that I know where his actual name is, I can just scratch up here next time for the next scratch card. So we got this message card of Soho's. I'm getting quite a bit of Soho stuff today. But yeah, this is the scratch card. And then, last but not least, I've uh, got lots of like scratch residue on the table. But last but not least, we got the photo card. So let's have a look at who this photo card is. Ooh, we got Xion. Nice. My first ever One Us Bias. So we got a Xion photo card. I am kind of sad that there's only one photo card, but it's good that we got lots of other stuff. So yes, for this one, got Xion. And let's open up the next album as well. Alrighty, first up, let's see the postcard. I would like it to be not Soho, just like a different member. 
And we got, oh, we got Xion again. We sent Xion and so her blessed today. So we got Xion for this one. This is what he looks like. Alrighty, let's have a look at the other stuff. So we have a lyric book. Alrighty, so for our business card, we got Connie again. I feel like these are all going to be the same people because K-Town for You doesn't mix their albums very well. Then for this scratch card, we got Soho again. And I feel like this is going to be Xion again, but let's have a look. Yeah, we got Xion again. So two Xion photo cards for the main version. So both me and my friend are going to be getting Xion's and going to be trading for our biases who are Lido and Connie respectively. But that's okay. It was really fun to unbox this anyway. Um, the other thing that I forgot to say is actually that there were POBs that came with Ketown for you. And then I did have a look at these already because they're just in this envelope, this little um, Ziploc bag here. But the POBs that we've got were Soho and Huanung. These are super cute. I do have a friend that biases Soho, so I feel like I might give this POB to her. But yeah, this is Pygmalion Ketan for you POBs. So cute. Alrighty, and then let's open up the Poker version. Alrighty, so Poker version, I also have two albums. I'm going to zoom in a bit for this one. Let's just go right ahead and open these up. So they are sealed like this. I feel like this is going to be hard to pull off. Alrighty, so Poco version looks like this. It is kind of like the Weverse version for Seventeen. So it's just like, kind of saves paper a lot. And it just has a couple of photo cards inside. Alrighty, so this is like the little stand that you get again. And then this one is, <gasps> we got Lido. <laughs> nice. Finally, we got my bias. We got Lido and he looks so good. And this is the type of card that I really, really like. This is the credit card type. So yes, I'm so happy with this. Got a Lido. Then the other ones, oh, that's cool. They kind of connect. All right. Then this one is... Oh, we got Soho. Oh my gosh. And he has that two-toned hair. But this is a really nice photo card. All right. So we got Soho for the next photo card. We've got Sodo, my favorite pairing. <laughs> then the next one should be different because the back is different. We've got... Ooh, we got Connie. Oh my gosh. He looks so funny with these glasses, the meme glasses. All right. So we got a Connie. Nice. We got three members. Then I feel like these are stickers. Oh yeah, so we've got some stickers. And these are probably more stickers. One us and two moon. Very cute. And then these are just the instructions on how to use the pocket album. So yeah, I'm really happy with these pulls. I'm just gonna put it on the like the very top of the table and then can open the other album too. All right, let's open the other album. Alrighty, so as I said before, I am just hoping for different members. So the first one, the QR code is Lido again. I feel like these are all going to be the same again. Oh, this is different. No, no, no. Actually, this is different. All right. So we've got Lido again for the credit card type card. Then this is. Oh, we got Lido. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, oh, he looks so good with this mesh. Yes. So we got Lido. All right. And. Who did we get for this? Who did we get for this one? Oh, we got Hanung. Nice. My two biases. 
in this album. I'm super, super lucky with this album. Oh, I'm really happy with the polka version pulls. I pulled like all of my friends' biases for this. And we got the same thing here. So, yeah, oh, this, yes, this I'm really, really happy with. So these three are pretty much like my friends' biases. And then these three are my biases. So that is absolutely perfect. And I will be super happy to give her that album. But those were my pocket version pulls. And what we're going to do now is we're going to open the jewel cases one by one. All right, so before I go ahead and unbox these albums, I do want to show you guys what they look like just as a set. Um, they are overlapping a bit on this table because there is a glare if I put them all down. But yeah, these are so, 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 so pretty. I'm really in love with the Lido one. And I really like all of them, to be honest. The colors are so nice. And the texture of these albums feel really nice in the uh, cling wrap already. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox these in age order. So starting with Soho and then all the way down to Xion. Okay, so this is the Soho album. Let's go ahead and unbox the shrink wrap. All right, so yeah, this is a really, really good quality jewel case. They say it's jewel case, but I feel like it's much better than a jewel case. This is the front side is really pretty here. Back and side here and then just the top and the bottom so this is like a plastic sleeve that you take off it's so nice i swear and yeah it's like this kind of consistency and then i think you get like the photo book plus maybe all the jewel cases are the same i just i'll open one jewel case to have a look and if they're all the same i won't open them anymore let me see if there's photo cards first. I will take out the photo cards. Alrighty, so let's go through the photo book. I will just hold it for this. And firstly, it's a shiny consistency. It's really, really nice. And it's pretty thin, but for a jewel case, like this amount of pages for a jewel case is pretty good. Okay, so these are the outfits from the Unforgettable music video. Which, by the way, I really like these outfits. I like the different colours. And I like how it's uh, a lot softer than Erase Me. And then we've got the darker concept from the music video as well. And yeah, that is the little photo book for the jewel case. I think it's really, really nice. And then let's have a look inside the jewel case. So you can also display it just like this if you want it to be consistent with like other jewel cases. And that is the CD plate. Need to make it the right way up. And then I'll have a look through this. I feel like there would be lyrics in here because there weren't any lyrics in the actual photo book. Yeah, let's have it. Yep, we got lyrics. There's me. We've got some group photos. So that's nice. I feel like this one will be the same for all of the jewel cases. So you get a group photo and more group photos. Then the dark concept. And that is the little uh, inside the jewel case, the little booklet. So yeah, I really like the jewel case this time. I feel like it's nice. Like it has everything that you need for a jewel case. So now let's have a look at the things that you get in the jewel case. So I did see this postcard before. I feel like this postcard is just whichever member jewel case you will get the uh, postcard that comes with it because it is the same size as this so i got the soho one then this is like oh okay some stickers and i feel like you can stick it on the spine of the album as well 
I'll just see. So yeah, I feel like you could stick it here if you want. Then we have two random things. We've got this circle card. And the circle card is... Oh, oh, this is so pretty. It's Lido. Oh my gosh, it's so, so, so pretty. So this reminds me a bit of the, the apple card from Malice. Because it's the same, like, holographic type. But yeah, we got Lido. Yeah. And then this one. Oh, I see already. It says Huanong on the back. So I guess the photo cards are random and not by the jewel case. But we got Huanong. Nice. Okay. So we got Honung and Lido and the Soho jewel case for this. Let's unbox the Lido one now. Alrighty, so this is the Lido album. I'm super excited to look at this one because he's my bias. So let's open the shrink wrap. Alrighty, and the sides and stuff is all the same, so I will just show the photo book. And I'll take out all the photo cards and inclusions. Alrighty, let's have a look at the photo book. So gorgeous. Lido. Whoa. See, when they style his hair like this, I think it looks really, really good. So pretty. And we have the dark version. He's changing it up a bit with a beret. I think I like the lighter version better. And that is the end of the little photo book. I won't go through the jewel case because it's exactly the same as the Soho one. So the inclusions we get is the member specific postcard. So we've got this one. Then we got stickers. And then we got our two random things. So for the circle card, we got, oh, we got Xion this time. Nice. We're getting a variety of members, which is good. So we got Xion for that. And then I already see here it says Lido, but I'm so curious what it is. Oh, this is nice. He's wearing the outfit. Yeah, I like this one. I like it when he wears white. I think it looks really, really good. So yes, I will be keeping this one then. So I've already got a full Lido set for myself. That is really, really good. Alrighty, next up, we are going to do Connie's album. Alrighty, I will take out the inclusions as usual. Alrighty, let's have a look at this photo book. Oh my god, he is so cute. He is so soft. Ah, he's wearing Adidas Superstars. I also wear Adidas Superstars. So that's pretty cool. I'll be honest, like, I haven't really been keeping up with their variety show appearances. I remember, like, last comeback, I just got into One Us. So I was super, super obsessed with following all of their variety appearances and just literally everything that they appeared on i watched a day or two after it came out i followed them religiously honestly but now i'm just chilling just listening to their music a lot so that was connie's album and then i feel like for these jewel cases the inclusions are mixed really really well so we've got the connie postcard Then we have stickers. Then for the circle card, we got... Oh, we got Huanong! Cool! So that's three out of three different members. 
I'm only missing a Soho and a Connie for the circle cards now. And then for the photo card, I'm going to block the name. For the photo card, we got... Oh, we got Xion! Nice! So we've got three different members of the photo cards as well. That's really, really good. I'm going to be super happy to give my group auto joiners, um, or like my friends who did the split set with me, I'm going to be super happy to give them, hopefully everyone can get their bias for everything. Touch wood. Touch wood. Hopefully everyone can get their bias for these jewel cases. Alrighty, next up we are going to do Hwanong. Alrighty, so this is Hwanong's album. Oh, it has a bit of a scratch on it, but that's okay. So Hwanong is the only one... Oh, there's the stickers. <laughs> Whoops. But Hwanong is the only one who dyed his hair for this comeback, which is quite interesting to me. Normally when someone is the only one that dyes their hair, I feel like the company is trying to promote them to kind of be the center a little bit more. But he was already the main dancer and I feel like he already stands out. So I don't know. Got the Adidas and Gucci collab. So there's that. I do kind of miss talking to him on fansign. He was really, really fun to talk to. And he's always really receptive to, uh, bleh. he's always really receptive, receptive to everything that you say. So I'm gonna miss not talking to him. Maybe I'll apply for like one fan sign. I've been joining group orders that like raffle fan signs to people, but haven't won any so far. All right. So that was Hanung's jewel case. And then let's see what we got. So here's Poe's card. Looks like this. And then let's see our two random things. So for the circle card, we got. Oh, we got Hanung! Okay, so this is our first dupe for the jewel cases. But we got another Hanung circle card. And then, oh, I see. So, oh, this is like. Signature. The other ones were not signatures. So I guess there's two different versions of photo cards. But this is Soho. Oh, it's a flower. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm I'm so curious what the other flower photo cards look like. But yeah, that is um Huanung's jewel case. And last but not least, we have Xion's jewel case. So let's open up him. All right, let's have a look at his photo book. So I, I keep leaving the stickers in. And I really, I think Xion is so pretty this time. I think he really, really suits these concepts. I think he suits both the unforgettable concepts and also the Erase Me concepts. I think he really suits like those grey suits that they wore. And then obviously he suits this youthful look because he is the Macne and yeah, he's just really, really cute. Wow, he's so pretty. Ooh. He does look a bit like Connie. I remember in the music video of Erase Me, there was that mirror scene with him and Connie. And then, yeah, I got a bit confused, to be honest. Okay, and then that is Xion's jewel case. So for his postcard, his postcard, ooh, his postcard is so pretty. So this is Xian's postcard. Then for the circle card, we got we got Huanong again. So we've got three Huanongs. And then for the photo card, I do see Huanong. So it's the Huanong flower one. So yeah, we got all different photo cards, some of the same circle card, which I'm pretty happy with the spread of what we got. So let's have a look at everything that we pulled. 
All right, so that was my unboxing of Wanas's mini album Pygmalion. And thank you so much for watching. I really, really enjoyed unboxing these albums and pulling lots and lots of different members. And I think I pulled something of everyone, which is really, really good. And I'm super happy with it. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.